My name is Dan Saubert, and this is my public school experience. Uh, this is our full, um, fully immersive uh, racing simulator. The overall goal was to get someone who would never have the experience to, you know, drive in a race car on a racetrack, to get them in there and fully immersed in that experience, you know, sound, sight, feeling. Uh, the steering wheel jerks you around, the sound vibrates the whole car. To get them to see what engineering and STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math, what combining all of those efforts can result in. They literally started with a piece of paper and an idea in their head and uh, built this uh, uh, simulator very much like a, a video game in which you get in and, and it feels like you're really driving a race car. It's been great. I mean, it was never, I mean, there were moments where, you know, you were frustrated, you know, this doesn't work. I can't get this to, to run. I can't get this to go. And to work through that and to have the problem solving skills and the team skills to get through that, it's been, been impressive with myself. I mean, to see all of my teammates grow and come together to end up with this full project was amazing. The process is really uh, the exciting part of that project. It's really neat when it's done and you'll see the simulator and it's really cool or the cars going around the track and that's awesome. That's kind of the highlight. But that process really helps them grow um, as, as learners, I think, is a big part of that. As team members, being part of a team and working together. And I think it gives them such great confidence in their abilities to be able to solve a problem that's that vast. Dan played a huge role uh, in this project in building this racing simulator. Uh, Dan wants to go or is going into uh, uh, IT afterwards and so his big involvement was completely building and designing the computer that was able to, to run this thing. What we've tried to do in, in most high schools is expose kids to more things than, than they used to be exposed to I think uh, previously. I think trying to find those real world opportunities for kids so kids can investigate some of the things that are out there uh, and to learn about opportunities that exist. Um, they might like one thing but what does that mean career-wise, what are the opportunities? And so uh, we try to expose our kids to those things. The future of this is to uh, take it around to other shows or conventions and to show businesses and community members alike that we have this kind of ability here. And you know, we're just high school kids, but if you can give us the opportunities and the chance, you know, we can create things that are fun <laughs> and uh, groundbreaking. <laughs>